I swear on my fucking kid's health, I'm obsessed with losing. I fucking love losing. I love losing because I know exactly what you're thinking about my loss and I can't wait to stick it in your fucking face when I come back. I remember once my grandma said that I was lazy because after seven hours of fucking dragging wood in my parents' backyard, I was like, I need a break because she's old school Russian gangster. And I remember laying there and her drilling me and me thinking to myself, I'm gonna fucking stick it to you, grandma, like nobody's ever, like, like I like losing. Like when the Yankees and Rangers won their championships, I stopped rooting for them. People like laugh at me like, you're a Jets fan? I love being a Jets fan. I'd hate being a Seahawks fan because you won, it's over, the climb's over. What are you fucking fearful of? Like, your sister making fun of you because she's got a better job? Fuck her, that's my answer. Don't forget, my friends, you could be winning 28-nothing at halftime and lose. So your older sibling that's got a great fucking job could be a crackhead next year. (laughs) Could, could because he's had a whole facade the whole time fucking trying to suck your parents' dick, right? And, and he's actually insecure inside and something went wrong at the office and he starts fucking doing coke on the side. Like, guys, don't you understand how this is played? This is real, I'm being serious. Who gives a shit if you're losing when you're in college? You got 80 fucking years to stick it to them, bro. I recommend fucking up on purpose. I'm being serious. It's so much better to like eliminate expectations from the get. Then you're playing with house money. If you're scared of other people's opinion, fuck up on purpose, then everybody thinks you suck shit, then it's all upside. <laughs> I'm, you know, everybody's like, like, I'm telling you, I'm not joking. By the way, maybe that's what happened to me. Maybe what happened to me was because I got D's and F's and every teacher and every friend's parent thought I was gonna be a loser, there was no entrepreneurship in the 80s. That wasn't a conversation, I didn't even know what the fucking word meant. The first time I heard it, it meant that you were kind of like a loser, like and didn't do anything. Like, education was the only thing. Maybe the advice I'm giving you, man, is based on what happened to me, which was because I sucked so bad at school and that's the only way that we were graded back then that all expectations were goose egg for me and all of it was upside, so I was liberated to play in the fucking machine and just went on straight fucking offense and fucking won. So go fuck up.